Hei o ngā rangi manaki nei tēnei kai, ngā kai a hua a tangaroa, ngā kai a haumi a tike tike, a tāne a tangaroa. Tūtura whitiwaka maua kia tīna, tīna haumi e hui e tāeki e. Um, my passion and love for Hangi comes from the fact that I, I truly believe it should be our national dish of New Zealand. We should stop fighting with Australia over who started the pavlova and just focus on dishes like Hangi. Ah, oh, about time, man. I've done all the hard work, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Where's all the food, man? You ready? It's in the car. I'm waiting for you to give me a hand. Uh, I'm going to do... Titi dumplings and then yeah. hawa dumplings. And the hapuka man, they're just, it's a match made in heaven. I don't want to have um, like a big buffet, I want it to be a, a place where you can get a little bit of fine dining meets a hangi. So basically, this is the Māori tin foil. Mmm! <laughs> Could I put some hairs on your chest, bro? The kawaka will deliver a, a really nice fragrance, like you'd season with clove or uh, cinnamon or star anise. Do you want to keep them in the freezer for you next hungry or something? No, we'll use them, bro. Oh, we'll take the string off. We're going to cut them into rondelles, into rounds. Then we're going to crumb and deep fry them. Another one. It's sort of like our Māori rosemary. Wrap it up in a bit of manuka, green manuka leaf. That'll give oh, it yeah. a good flavour as well. This hangi is um, really special to me because it's at, um, the first time I've done one at my own restaurant. And it's matariki and um, we should be celebrating matariki more. I think we know more about Chinese New Year than our Māori New Year. If we put the kimchi over the top it'll just dribble down so it'll give that real mean Korean flavour. <laughs> just like us. <laughs> <laughs> And for three hours, the stones are going to get really hot, 600 Celsius plus. We'll leave a bit of ash in there to give the flavour, the smoke through the food. And um, that's pretty much it. We'll cover it, we'll trap it with dirt, uh, with our sacks, and then that'll keep the steam, the flavours going. So we're just going to peel it back, and um, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Straight away. Smell that taste. I can't believe how good it's come out. It's unbelievable. It's a chance for these chefs, our top chefs, to actually put their spin on the gourmet hangi and play around with um, a tradition that's been around for a thousand years.